everyone welcome to my what I made in 2022 garments edition um, I'm combining both my sewing and my knitting since together they make up enough for a video but separate it's just kind of a little lacking uh, first off we have this little number which I love but I don't wear very often Mostly because there's just a few fit issues that kind of drive me a little crazy. I can feel them, and I feel like there's mistakes in this that I think other people can see. They probably can't. I have worn out a few times. It's just not something that, like, I wear <laughs> in public, even though I probably could. It's just a personal thing. It's not a... I'm blathering on. Anyways, okay, so it's an M. McCall's M. 79 I, I know this hold on time out editing Hannah clip here and we're back okay um it is <laughs> McCall's M7946 so if you watched this last year I did this also in a yellow dress um again it's just like I love it it's really great there's just a few things so like with this one I did the sleeves and I had to do the sleeves more towards the front because I felt like the further back they were, I felt very exposed and I did not like that. The problem is, I couldn't quite get them even and so I have issues and then because of that you have this like weird puckering on the top. Um, it lays great. The other thing with this one, and I don't know if it's the fabric or the, the gathering just kind of got weird. It like didn't want to gather correctly so you have these weird bits that are like super bunched together and then others that are extremely stretched I think part of that is because it's already a stretchy fabric anyways like see you can see it like that um I did put a pocket in it again I kind of regret that as much as I love pockets because of the weight of the fabric already I do love the ruffle the ruffle turned out so much better on this one than it did on my yellow one um and I do I I like so many things about it, but I just feel like there's so much that needs to be fixed on it also, and I just don't want to sit there and fix it, which is really sad because I think otherwise I would wear this a lot more than I actually do. It's one of those dresses where you kind of feel like you're wearing pajamas and it's just super comfy and cozy. Honestly, I think it's the gathers that really get me on this one more than anything else, but otherwise I would highly recommend the pattern. It's a great pattern. I think I just chose the wrong fabric for this pattern. Okay, next up is this new look top. It is N6678, and I actually did a video on the entire making process of this one. Um, again, it doesn't get a lot of wear, mostly because I'm too lazy to iron it, and it does need ironing because of the cotton bowl. Um, otherwise, it's still a great shirt. I do wear it not often but often enough like it definitely gets some use um it goes great but as you can see it's already starting to wear right here i didn't do this button quite right so i probably have to redo that one um and again like this one since i already did a video on it i feel like i covered it pretty well um but yeah it's a great pattern and so much so that do that awkward transition again um so much so that I made it twice so this skirt it's not cooperating this green version is actually worn much more because I was able to fix the fit issues that I had with the yellow one on this green one um, so I tightened this bit because it was very wide very open um, I tightened these so that it would actually sit up higher as well. Um, I think the combo really helped the sleeves out the same, so they actually have a little bit extra poof in them, which I really love. This bit, so comfy, so cozy. I did much better on the buttons. Um, they're actually staying. And the best part about this too is I didn't have to buy the fabric for this one. I used an old flat sheet from a bed set that doesn't fit our mattress anymore so recycling for the win and awesome new shirt 
Um, really, really love this one. But the funny thing is, I had fabric left over from the shirt. Sheet, sheet, the same sheet that I used for the shirt. I had fabric left over. So what did I do with that? Well, I had enough left over for a skirt. So this is the Azura pattern by Deer and Doe, but I kind of hacked it a little bit because I had enough fabric left over for a skirt, but not quite enough to do the pattern piecing like the Azura has. So if you remember, I did make a plaid version of the Azura with the piecing on it. That one I showed in my 2021 makes video. <coughs> the skirt has a little line piecing that comes kind of has like this little dirtness that's beautiful don't get me wrong but because I had limited fabric I didn't want to do all that cutting it just seemed like unnecessary cutting for this particular skirt so I pieced the paper pieces together and then I just cut it in one go which also made the pockets sit a lot nicer. I added the pockets, it's not in the pattern. So that was my own modification. But otherwise, I think it turned out really great. And who doesn't love a cute little matching set? Like how, how adorable is this? I don't wear it together too often, but it's still super cute. And again, it's literally bed sheets. How much more cozy and comfy can you get than literal bed sheets? Amazing. Okay, next up we have the campus cardigan, which I talked about a little bit on my last podcast. So you might have already seen this fairly recently. Um, it's just this massive, cozy, oversized sweater that, like, I've got these rolled up because it's <laughs> you can't even see my hands. Um, I wear this a lot right now. I wear this. To the grocery store. I've worn this out to eat with friends. I kind of pair it with like jeans or some more like professional sweats. It's definitely just like professional sweats. It's, that's that's a bit far. Okay, let's let's not joke ourselves. Um, I would not wear it with this, but we're wearing it with this right now for this video because we're doing changes and. I'm lazy, but um, Campus Cardigan, I used Lion Brand, but this is the problem with this sweater. Um, I used the wrong yarn. It's supposed to be bulky and I used super bulky, so it came out much bigger in some ways than it was supposed to, um, which I love, I do love, don't get me wrong. It's not the pattern's fault, it's totally me. But it's just this giant, cozy, oversized cardigan that I wear to walk the dogs. I go to grow like I said go take it when I go grocery shopping it's cold here right now so sometimes you just want like that like cozy layer I even wore this the other day when I was walking from our apartment to the gym here at our apartments and it's all outside and it was really cold outside I don't want to wear a jacket to go to the gym I don't know just like I wanted to wear my normal gym clothes that I was gonna get nasty and sweaty in and then wear this over it to stay warm between between doors, man. Like, come on. Um, I love the construction. It's a super basic construction. Easy, awesome. Like, honestly, this would be a great first like piecing sweater because it's so big. It flew, flew less than a week to finish this. Flew off the needles. Um, just yeah, super cozy and comfy. Um, there is an option to put pockets. The longer I've gone without them, the more I want them. So that may be something that I add in the future. I do want to try to make it in the correct yarn size. So we'll see. Okay, next up is the Nora sweater, which is like the sweater for this year. I mean, look at this thing she's got gorgeous massive puff sleeves that just keep you so cozy she's made out of mohair and 
cashmere and silk and it's just the most luxurious thing I'm ever gonna own or make and I love everything about it it's so cozy and soft and comfy and I love wearing it and just, just feeling so ah oh, amazing the only only tiny thing that I want to adjust is I want to take some elastic and run it through this collar it sits a little loose looser than I'd like I like how the sleeves are nice and fitted and I wish the collar was just a teensy bit more fitted so I think just running a tiny thread of elastic like the same thing I would use for shearing will help tighten this up without it looking too weird um yes this flew off my noodles even though it's like a massive amount of yarn like and I did make it longer than the pattern so what I did was I worked up to where you split the sleeves I did the sleeves I did the collar and then I literally have like this much <laughs> left of the uh, cashmere yarn that before I bound off it was amazing perfect like I used up every last inch of it almost every last foot let's say every last foot because it's less than a foot of yarn um, but yes super cozy super comfy just love the feel of this it is truly a sweater for the ages and I love everything about it um, if I haven't said this already I don't remember because I've been jumping back and forth changing but the links for everything are gonna be down below and on my website so feel free to check everything out um, I'll have the links for the yarn I use the patterns patterns for the sewing if I can link the fabric I'll link the fabric if I can't you know some of it was used so some of it was a bed sheet like you'll be fine you'll be fine but yes um, if I have videos of anything that like I'm like with the yellow one I actually did a video on how to make that or how I made it so I'll link that as well um, but we have two more garments left let's go get them okay the last two are gonna kind of be in reverse order so this is actually the last thing I made in 2022 literally the last week of the year I had some time off of work and one of the days I spent making this gorgeous dress. I love it so much. It is whoop, the McCall's M8239. That's how recently I finished it. It's still out there. I altered a few things. I did a different bodice than I did last time, so I feel like the fit is so much better. It's supposed to have a zipper, and if you notice, I did not put a zipper in it because this fabric is knit fabric, and it's very stretchy as it is. <laughs> we might have a puppy sighting <laughs> in just a second. Are are you coming over here? Hi. You like this dress too? <laughs> um, the other thing I did, other than taking out the zipper and using a different bodice I did last time, is I actually widened and lengthened the skirt so I took my ruler I drew this out on a special tracing interfacing I added about 30 degrees of width and then I lengthened it it was by six inches yes I think six inches um, I do have a video coming for this dress. It just takes me a lot longer to edit a sew with me video than it does to edit a try on video. But it will be coming and when it does, I will have the video linked down below as well. Um, I, I just, I love this dress so much. This is like everything I, I dreamt. I saw this fabric months ago, probably back in August, I think. and. I fell in love with the fabric instantly. I was like, I need this fabric in my life. I need this in a dress. And then I finally kind of put it with this one, with this pattern. And I feel like it is the perfect fit. It's got these lovely long 
puffy like open bell sleeves but they've got just a little bit of a little bit a little bit here um it is a little bit wider than i that i'd like i kind of would like it to be a little more fitted i feel like that would just be like so good debated about putting like elastic in here but who knows i really like this cut of the of the pattern so much that i'm probably gonna make it again um without a doubt i just it's just so flowy and twirly i mean look at that twirl ah oh, who doesn't love that like so much fun um, but that's the only problem is like my the sleeves get in my hands because i have short stubby arms so having just a little bit of elastic there to like hold it up closer to my wrist will it just be so good um but the good thing about it being like this though is it will stick around my elbow so I can pull it all the way up and then kind of do this number. Um, if you'll notice also as much as I like pockets I learned my lesson from the green dress at the beginning of the year I did not put pockets in this because with it being knit fabric I thought again it would drag and like the silhouette you don't want you don't want anything dragging on this silhouette. It's just so, whoa. I just, okay, <sighs> enough. Let's go to the last make I'm showing you, but not the last make I made. And it goes with this dress. Yes, it is the finished maple down sweater vest. Um, can I just say, I look like the coolest teacher ever. Like, Miss Frizzle, I'm coming for you, okay? <laughs> um, yes, this vest was quite a journey. If you watch my last podcast episode, I'll link it because I talked about quite a few things in there, including my plans to make this dress. Um, but yes, I was almost done with this vest in there and it was quite a journey. And I'm so glad that we got to the point where I could wear it because I have been wearing it so much. I've worn it with so many different outfits. Not with this one yet, surprisingly. This is this is a good one though, right? Um, it's just, it's got that classic sweater vest, but it's just like that kind of cool cottage chic, cottage core-ish that's coming back in style that I just love because who doesn't want to look like a cool grandma? Am I right? Um, so yeah, this is my last make of 2022. That's quite a lot. Let's look at the pile. I'm curious. Okay, so yeah, here's the pile of things. You can tell my colors, blue, green, and yellow. I mean, with some neutral in there. But my goodness, that's a lot of makes this year. Let's see. We got one skirt, two dresses, two shirts, um, a full sweater, a cardigan, a vest. I did a lot of things. And this doesn't include like all my accessories that I made and gifts for friends and family. It was a good year. And I don't think I said this at the beginning of the video, but this was definitely not meant to be a bragging video more just a review a uh, marking of time and just to kind of honestly some of these i'd forgotten i made in this year so i'm kind of shocking myself with all of these makes i didn't realize how much i've actually been able to make this year which is really fun and interesting to look back on i definitely did not make the most out of all the youtubers and i definitely don't think i made the least but I made what I wanted to and it was really nice. And I love all of these pieces in their own special way, whether I learned from it or I wear it all the time. They all fit in a different place in my sewing and knitting journey and I appreciate that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you, maybe kind of got those creative juices going. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. You know, we like the like, the algor alg uh, algorithm likes it also. 
And if you enjoy what you saw here and you want to see the Sew With Me video for this dress, go ahead and hit the subscribe. I try to upload at least once a month. I have a full-time job also, so I'm not the best at being consistent, but I do what I can. So if you enjoyed this, thanks a lot. Talk to you later. Bye.